which is my home country. And this week I am on a DKW trip with my grandparents and I'm currently sitting in their Auto Union SP1000, which is a car from 1958. So I'm in a car that is three times my age and it's absolutely amazing. few moments later next morning so yesterday we were starting not really starting the tour but driving to another person's house because she was going to come with us on the DKW tour and we had two DKWs the one that I was sitting in and this one behind me and what had happened was that all of a sudden at a crossing after about 100 kilometers of driving the clutch of the sports car that we were driving um, just gave in <laughs> and uh, well, couldn't we couldn't touch or use the clutch anymore so it broke and um, we had to bring the car somewhere safe at another friend's place and we had to leave it there so now we're at someone else's place who has another DKW it's a station wagon not a sports car and we're probably going to use that now for the tour but also that we had to uh, fix last night and make sure that it is ready to go for the tour because we are planning to drive at least 500 or 600 kilometers today at least. So that, that's what's happening right now. <laughs> A few moments later. Many hours later. It's now a couple of hours later. We are on the tour successfully, but we have a completely different car because like I said earlier, the SP completely broke down. The clutch pressure plate is probably gone. And then we tried fixing 
another station wagon but uh, we couldn't really make it work it worked at some point um, and then there was something wrong with the carburetor and now we can't use it either but luckily there was another car which is um, the same four-door as my grandpa has already right now we're on the way to the first location of the tour which is in sandstone and it's I think 500 kilometers away from where we started we still have an hour to go and we've been stopping every now and then because the cars break down or we have to fix something small these cars are great fun especially because they are super good at attention grabbing pretty much everybody on the road tells us to honk and honks at us and waves at us and screams so these cars are real real classics and people love them that's super super cool because I don't have that with the Mini obviously and especially not in the Austrian Alps where special cars are not really that special because everyone has special cars so it's it's great fun here I enjoy it 20 liters 93 eh? next morning it's now the next morning and we're at a farm at a so-called Plas that has lots and lots of interesting farming equipment but also locomotives and you will see that in the next video but I wanted to take a moment to just explain what else had happened we finally did arrive late at night after a very bumpy road and we arrived with these vehicles we're now five DK DKWs and the one we're driving is this one right behind me these cars are 60 years old and I am super impressed with how well they run and how honestly infrequently they broke down. Of course every now and then something is loose, something needs to be tightened again, but it's so much fun driving these cars and also as a passenger just watching everyone else having fun and I can definitely see the joy in owning an older car like this, but they are 60 years old and they do have to be kept very well. In one of the next videos I will show you all of these cars i will present them to you and then we will have a better understanding of the love for dkw and auto union for this tour we were given these special polo shirts with the dkw and auto union brand on it and with that i'm going to say thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one